What's up with everybody? It's your man Moyo B. I'm Nicole. Well, back, back, back in with some more reaction videos. Yeah, Warhammer 40,000, man. The Cadillas, man. Um, I take this out myself. It was pretty cool. Uh, wanted Nicole to check it out. Um, these people in Warhammer, it's so much like information, so much like stuff know, it's in the so series. Hard to follow because it's there's hard so to follow. much in it. Yeah, it's going on at once, man. It's mm -hmm. like so many different races. Um, it's the the Emperor. Uh, it's it is so much stuff, man. But we finna check it out. I finna check it out again. I can get a better understanding of the Cadillas. <laughs> and we finna dive right into it. In the region of Imperial space designated yeah, as Imperium yeah. Obscurus, there lies an anomaly that has come to be known as the Eye of Terror. It is an enormous rift a permanent storm in the fabric of reality that for 11,000 years has provided a gateway to the nightmarish realm of the warp. Inside is a dimension of madness and despair where skies weep blood, ancient <laughs> stars <crazy>. burn <laughs> in multicolored flares, and the whims of Can the Can you imagine just seeing something like that? No. Stuff? Since the time of the Horus heresy, the forces of chaos that reside within have attempted to break out from the Eye of Terror and strike at the millions of worlds that lay beyond. Only one thing has stood in their path, a fortress world that guarded the only navigable route to the Eye of Terror, a place where time and time again, the servants of the dark gods would break against the greatest defenders of man. It was a planet known as Cadia, and it was here mm. above all that the bloody work of the Imperium okay, was done. It's a terrestrial on. world closely resembling holy terror of like the age of the Imperium. I know. Cadia was marked by great oceans, temperate plains, windswept moors, and towering mountains. Cadia was colder than most civilized worlds, yet not enough to impede the planet's settlement. It was famous across the galaxy for its sparkling glaciers and thick pine forests. It was the planet's network of strange black monoliths that remained Cadia's most enduring mystery, however, known across the galaxy as the Cadian Pylons. When precisely Cadia was first colonized has been lost to antiquity, but in the decades before the Horus Heresy, it had become inhabited by a primitive race of violet-eyed humans who worshipped the Chaos Gods. The Word Bearers Legion and their Primarch, Lorgar Aurelian, was the first to re-establish contact with Cadia, but whatever transpired in these initial meetings might never be known. Lorgar ordered the cyclonic bombardment of the planet, wiping out the native Cadians Dang, and whatever boy, secrets he just, they possessed. Yeah. Just, just killed them. With the end of the Horus Heresy, the Word Bearers and their other traitor legions fled to the Eye of Terror to heal their wounds and nurture their hatred. Huh. Yeah. Black Crusades mounted across the Best galaxy the from the Eye of Terror convinced the Imperium that Cadia was of vital strategic importance, and settlers were sent to the world to claim it in the name of the Emperor. Mm. Cadia was eventually forged into a world worthy of the Imperium, but it was learned at great cost that the planet would forever be threatened and its entire society would have to reflect that. Its earliest cities were constructed in the traditional style emulating Holy Terra, but the broad avenues and ordered urban grids favored any attacking force, and sweeping changes were enacted. Cadia could not afford any distinction between its fortresses and cities. Hmm. Streets were constructed in such a way as to disorient any potential invader, arrayed wow. in zigzag yeah. patterns that would force an enemy to fight for every block. Bastions and local garrisons were stationed in every corner and spire that possessed a commanding view, while at the heart of every city was an enormous fortification known in the local dialect as a casser. From the air, these mm, resembled like intricate puzzles, yeah. which could be held for months, if not years, even if the surrounding city had been taken. Its people were no different than its buildings, reorganized into a society wholly devoted to the defense of their world. Yeah, Every Cadian world. was taught the skills necessary to become a soldier from the moment they could walk. Dang, since they were kids. was prioritized Babies. above basic yeah. literacy and every citizen was required to serve at least a four-year term in the planet's military before either becoming a career soldier or instead joining Cadia's military-industrial complex. 
Even the wealthy and successful elite wore clothing reminiscent of the camouflage patterns issued to the lowliest guardsmen. The famed Cadian shock troops were widely regarded as the best soldiers in the Imperial Guard, mm. and some of the most well-equipped. Regiments either formed on Cadia or those emulating its style and doctrine could be found across the entire galaxy. Cadian equipment, in particular, was so ubiquitous that it was nearly the standard of the entire Astra Militarum. For millennia, the planet stood as an unshakable foundation that challenged the will of the Dark Gods themselves. Every invasion was shattered, and every Black Crusade was repelled. But in the 999th year of the 41st millennium, Cadia was finally broken. Hmm. Abaddon the Despoiler, greatest champion of chaos since Horus himself, launched the 13th Black Crusade. In the opening moments, elements of the planetary guard turned traitor, assassinating Cadia's high command, its yeah. governor, and Lord Castlin. A reformed defense now under the command of Ursicar E. Creed were able to contain this initial assault, but the Black Crusade was just beginning. In orbit of the planet, an enormous Chaos Armada traded blows with the warships of Battlefleet Cadia. Yeah all while reinforcements swept across Cadia's skies before joining in battle against the planet's beleaguered defenders. Mysteriously, it was not the famous fortress cities of Cadia that appeared to be Abaddon's primary target, but rather the large network of pylons, particularly those within the Elysian Fields. What precisely happened there can only be guessed at, but some claim that for a brief moment, Servants of the Imperium working with ancient Xenos managed to activate the Cadian pylons. The forces of Chaos were seemingly cut off from the warp, and even the Eye of Terror was said to shrink. Hmm. By the order of Abaddon, however, an enormous Blackstone fortress struck Cadia with the force of an artificial meteor. The planet's continents uh, were split yeah. apart. Its ancient forests burned away. Yeah, look at their planet. The yeah. Going, yeah. Managed to Red. evacuate they the entire planet. world oh. bore witness not only to the destruction of Cadia, but to the expansion of the Eye of Terror across the mm. entire galaxy. With the fall of Cadia, the forces of Chaos had won a victory that for millennia had been almost unimaginable. Tendrils of the warp have split the galaxy in two, and there is little doubt that the Imperium has entered the time of ending. But the ultimate triumph of Abaddon the Despoiler still eludes him. The fall of Cadia has awakened something in the Imperium more powerful than even its greatest fortress. A hunger for retribution has swept across every world, mm. and Cadia has become a martyr whose memory has spurred humanity to ever greater feats of valor. If a creature like Abaddon is still capable of experiencing even a tinge of fear, then he must be haunted by the fact that in destroying Cadia, he has added a trillion fallen saints to yeah. the highest pantheon yeah, of the Yeah, we're made of martyrs. For like even as the planet split apart and its <clears> shattered <throat> remnants were consumed by the Eye of Terror, yes. the red streaks of firing las guns could still be seen in the darkness. Defenders of Cadia refusing to give in, even as their world cracked and burned around them. Uh, I said, hey, like the From our sacrifice has arisen a new battle cry. One shouted in hatred from the arctic steppes of Valhalla to the deadly jungles of Katachan. A simple phrase that ensures the memory of Cadia will remain for as long as humanity endures. The planet broke before the guard. Hmm. Time. Is this like a comic book series? Uh, so like this is another. I, I think it is, man. I know they got okay. volumes, volumes. You know, the one guy told me was, I think it's been out since like 1970. Oh, okay. Right? So it's like a really long, in-depth like series, yeah. basically. Okay. Like and so much, just yeah. getting stories in that. Yeah, so much stuff going mm -hmm. on. I mean, there's other videos I'm gonna check out. But um, yeah, man, them Cadians, man, Cadians, they was fighting to the end, man. Yeah, man. Sounds they like they said it. um from um I guess. Since they started walking, they was learning how to like fight. Yeah, well, because that was their main duty, is they yeah. were the protector. Yeah, and right. all, all I guess all guys have to go to the military at a certain age, you know, for four I years. I said all citizens. Oh, citizens, yeah, man. Everyone women, had to yeah. go into it for four years, and then from there, you'd either become a career in the yeah. military, or you would like, you know, move yeah. on to something else. But what was that? It was that one guy. I guess the one guy they were saying. I think you was you were trying to talk about him while the video was going. 
No, I was. Oh, yeah. Well, because sure. it said like, you know, well, I guess the former, yeah, then I guess the um, other uh, Cadians that died, I guess they became mortals and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I was just saying, really, what happens is that they end up, it sounded like, end up uniting all the other planets, too. Yeah. So, versus just like having one planet at a time, you're going to end up fighting like a whole united tons of planets because yeah. they're all now looking at Cadia as like martyrs. And yeah, yeah, looking at martyrs and stuff like that. They want revenge. Yeah, that's how it is, man. Mm-hmm. That's all it is, man. People, they just want to fight, man. They just want to take over things. Um, I always think about, they always say about the Emperor, but it's not the Emperor, it's the... Um, the Imperial? The Imperial, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Imperial, the Imperial uh, they're not the army, but the Imperial are like the ones that govern all the Yeah, govern the planets. planets. I that's what I think, yeah. Yeah. But I think I think I heard him. I think I heard him say something about the emperor before. They there said we do a name of the emperor remember. or the imperium yeah, or whatever. I yeah. Yeah, man. So still a lot of stuff to it's soak so much in, to man. Out. It's, yeah. it's a lot of stuff, man. Like somebody said in the comments, they're like, man, like I've been reading this since for fifteen years, and there's still so much stuff I don't know about. Yeah, so, I can only imagine. This is a lot of stuff. Man. Yeah. But we definitely enjoyed it, man. Mm-hmm. I, re- I I would like to see like some animation of it. You know, that'd be even more dope. Yeah. You know, like an the actual cartoon, cool. not cartoon, but like an actual rend- like show. Yeah, render. Is, yeah, yeah rendition agree. of it. That'd be, It'd be dope. easy to understand. But we definitely enjoyed it. Everybody agreed in this video. Mm-hmm. If you want to send us a special video request, check out the link to our Streamlabs. It's going to be in our description. Description. <laughs> Keep the video at 12 minutes mm-hmm. and leave your video link. Don't forget to subscribe. And thumbs it up. Turn on the notification. It should be more be. And Nicole. When you catch you on the next with the awesome. Peace out. Baby.